So the U.S. has one of the most secure pharmaceutical supply chains in the world. So how did we end up here? Why did Congress up the ante on supply chain security in the U.S.? That's right. The U.S. does have one of the safest pharmaceutical supply chains in the world. We certainly do not see the same level of counterfeits or substandard products that other areas or other countries see globally. Uh, but that doesn't mean we should be complacent. We need to be vigilant to make sure that we are keeping bad products out of the supply chain and, of course, at the same time, protecting those products that are good or safe and authentic. So what DSCSA requirements does is it puts uh, requirements in place for transactional documentation from the point of manufacture as that drug is distributed to the pharmacy. So from manufacturer, wholesale distributor to pharmacies. And what that means is U.S. consumers can be confident that what products they are receiving at their pharmacies is high quality and authentic product. As you said, they are rare instances, but I think from an industry perspective, it's good to remind folks as well, they do happen, right? Um, this law and some of the state activity that drove it came on the heels of the Avastin outbreak and some other similar circumstances. Um, I think it's good to remind folks that this was uh, a response to some state activity as well. In the 2000s, we saw a number of states implementing similar types of requirements that varied state by state, state pedigree type of requirements, as they were often called. Uh, and in many ways, the DSCSA was a response to that from industry as well to drive towards one single uniform national standard, because I think industry recognized how difficult it was going to be to manage uh DSCSA traceability type activities on a 50 state basis. And so going into the conversation, I think it's good to remind folks as well that this is a law that industry asked for and was very supportive of because they favored that single national standard in that way. That's right. And DSCSA puts in requirements for uh, the supply chain, but also FDA to, to meet our shared goal, which is protecting patients from receiving illegitimate product. So it allows, allows us to be able to um, um, prevent the introduction of harmful products into the drug supply chain, but also respond in a way that we can make sure that those products don't reach patients.